Well, welcome to the Indie Music Insider blog. My name is Kate and uh, we are doing our very first video review and interview uh, and I am chatting to a wonderful guy with incredible music who's just released a brand new track. His name is Jeremy Beggs. Jeremy, welcome to the Indie Music Insider. Thanks, Kate. Lovely to be here. <laughs> uh, Jeremy, uh, we've known each other for a little bit. We work together within Westwood Management and uh, it's just been so wonderful to see you uh, take a bunch of risks in this space, but I'm not going to talk. I'd love for you to just say hi. You know, um, those who are watching, what is it uh, that makes you you? Why do you make music? Give us a bit of the, the 101 on Jeremy Beggs. Thanks. Uh, I'm uh, from Ballarat, uh, been been involved in music I think pretty much my whole life um, right from really early age been learning lots of different instruments and those things uh, and yeah uh, you know from all through my 20s and 30s playing different bands and um, nothing too serious just sort of more just enjoyed uh, just enjoyed sitting around campfires and, and playing with my mates and um, I was unfortunate uh, fortunate enough to join a band called the Suffragans in uh, roughly 2000 and 17 I think and uh, that was probably the, the first time we yeah have been involved in uh, you know, a semi-serious uh, band and started to learn about the industry and, and learn about how all those things work um, so I'm really grateful for those guys that I, I play with and still in contact with um, and then from probably we sort of hit the pandemic unfortunately and uh, obviously playing in bands yeah. became a little <laughs> bit more uh, problematic and uh, so it was, yeah, probably it became, a, you know, with a little bit of extra time, I was fortunate to have, uh, I was, yeah, sort of explored um, my own music uh, in a greater detail. So um, during, yeah, so during those, those those times, those couple of years, yeah, I was able to sort of uh, find some opportunities to record some music and, and um, which ended up uh, in 2000 and, sorry, me and dates are not great, 2021 being able to release an EP. Um, laid signs so um yeah so sort of um yeah that was the, the general general introduction to to what i've been doing and then yeah then from there sort of obviously last year we all um jumped for joy and ran out and tried to play music absolutely everywhere um and i headed up to uh, tamworth um to the country music festival which was uh postponed to april i think in that year and um yeah, I suppose then it's, things have sort of got a little bit more serious in the last last year or so. Um, I'm sure we'll talk about that. But, yeah, meeting lots of wonderful people and playing with wonderful people. And um, so, yeah, we're here just released, yeah, a new single, Hurtful Ways, um, which came out on uh, Friday. Yeah, so it's been – so that's a, a very quick synopsis of it all, yeah, so far. Love it. Now, behind the music, Jeremy, you're a family man, you've got kids, um, you're working as a teacher uh, and a music teacher as well. What's it like to kind of shift a little bit as you have into this is music, this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm I'm jumping into, especially when you, you know, carry those responsibilities of family and, um, you know, having to earn money <laughs> as well? Yeah, it's look, it's a, it is a real challenge, um, you know, Family have to come first, of course, and you know, trying to put them first at every every opportunity. Um, but that you know, uh, being in an industry like music where you're not guaranteed to uh, to earn an income, particularly um, straight away. You know, I remember a few mates saying, you know, you got to pay to play in this industry for a long period of time. Um, so having yeah, so that's certainly a challenge when um, and getting used to myself. You know, doing lots of work that's not. I can't bill for, I can't, you know, can't get paid for compared to, you know, obviously, obviously teaching you, you um, yeah, you, you do the work and you get your, you earn your check. So it certainly takes some adjusting and um, certainly, yeah, it is a challenge, particularly in my relationship with my wife um, in, in how much time is, is viable to be spending on this um, when the outcomes are not probably uh, same as others, but um I think in the end, I, I think in the last couple of years particularly, it's just discovered, I've you know, really discovered how much I really love it, uh, playing music and, and writing music. And uh, whether this goes anywhere, whether it doesn't, I think learning that and being able to, you know, you know find that time for whatever whatever that is, you know, um, a big thing over the last year has just been 
uh, meeting lots of local uh, musos through an open mic that we've you know sort of all supported and got got involved with and you know that that that's there's things that can continue no matter what so I think um, yeah finding ways to share it share my music in different ways so I think that's the key yeah. And I think, yeah, we've got to do it because we love it, right? It's got to be the first point of call. And uh, I think if we lose that, we we just become a commodity and, you know, a product rather than a person who's passionate. A lot of peas there, a bit of alliteration. Um, <laughs> so, and especially, you know, some of the, the changes. So your EP layered signs was a different, it wasn't as Americana as you're wanting to go. What was that like? Um, kind of trying to not reinvent yourself, but shift your genre, shift your audience a little bit. Has that been challenging? Is it, you know, do you have to learn to sing differently? What was the the process? Yeah, I suppose the first, um, the EP was a bit of a, uh, um, yeah, exploration, trying to find, I suppose, find my sound. And um, if you go and listen to that, there's probably, you know, five five songs and five different genres on it. So, um, so I suppose, I suppose you know in some ways it's not too much of a change particularly songwriting I don't think that really has changed too much um uh yeah so that's I think that's fortunate enough you know you have to change a few chords and probably simplify a few things if you're getting into this sort of Americana country um vibe vibe of it but um I suppose you know big thing is was meeting Matt Joe Gow up in Tamworth um last year as uh, yeah, and playing in his band um and throughout the last year, he's really you know, been a wonderful mentor. And I suppose being able to, you know, early days after Tamworth, we were sort of just I was sending him some ideas and he offers the different suggestions and and how to give the yeah get that sort of twang I suppose into the music. Um, uh, so that, yeah, so I've been fortunate that um, certainly recording uh, was yeah a big eye opening uh, experience going from pretty much self um, producing the EP to going into a professional studio. Um, it certainly opens your eyes to, to the expectations and the level of professionalism that goes into it. Um, and yeah, certainly there were some challenges around delivering the song um, vocally um, and, you know, had to have a couple of takes of that, but I think, um, you know, you put in the work and you do the, you know, do what you need to do and, and thankfully was able to overcome that. So yeah, um, yeah. Obviously, there's di- different um, approaches to arrangement and those kind of things, and um, still getting my head around how that, um, yeah, how that's going to work with with new songs and those kind of things. But um, I think you know, I, I love. I even though I'm probably new to that style of music, I, I I love that style of music, and I've fallen in love with that that yeah, and that genre. So I think. Obviously, the more more I listen, the more um, hopefully that comes through in my music. I love that. Well, give us a uh, an insight into hurtful ways as the single. Um, obviously, there's more music coming, but we'll get to that another time. Uh, what is it about? Uh, is it a, a real kind of heart life story, or is it just kind of a a co write that you connected with, and you're like, yeah, I can totally sing about this. You know, what's the story and the heart behind the song? Yeah, um, most of my songwriting is obviously pretty personal um at the moment uh, i think um you know partly the reason i'm doing this is trying to share find a way to express myself and um music seems a good vehicle for that um so the yeah the co-write started probably a little bit differently to to some ways to, to others that i've done um obviously uh yeah it was sort of happened all over the airways um so matt wrote the chorus and um and then basically handed to me and said oh well, go for it see what you see what you can do so um yeah so obviously yeah the last personally the last 12 months have been pretty challenging for a number of different reasons um and yeah so being able to connect to that that lyric was um yeah it was pretty easy so uh from what i remember i remember writing pretty much the three verses within a day so it wasn't yeah it didn't take much uh, for that to come through and and then yeah and then it was just a bit of revision going back and forth and and trying to find the you know changing slightly like changes on different notes and and different words but um yeah within probably a week we had a had a song we we thought was pretty good yeah 
I love the way that some songs just come so quickly and other times you labor for weeks over the right lyrics and then they slot into place. Um, and you w- w- had said to me, uh, Kate, this song feels like it's hurting me a little bit in some of the process or release process. A um, couple of challenges there. Do you want to highlight a couple of those? Because <laughs> it's an interesting thing for people who maybe aren't in the industry, who have never considered what it takes to actually get a music, uh, a song out into the world. Yeah. So like, the originally I started recording in September um, and the plan was to to release in, try and release in November um, and try and get something out before the new year. Um, but, you know, uh, I went and went up and recorded and, and the vocals weren't quite, quite right. So um, we need to come back and do that. Um, and then, you know, just life gets in the way with that, trying to find another time. It wasn't possible till I think Feb- um, February the next year. So, um so that was sort of yeah that delayed that delayed a lot of things um uh yeah so and yeah so that that just getting just actually getting the track finished um was yeah a little bit challenge uh and then just the release um yeah the song got actually released two weeks earlier um which uh most people don't know so um, (laughs) which it wasn't yeah so which wasn't meant to happen but um that's okay you know it's, it probably didn't matter in the end, but otherwise, but took a little bit, probably a little bit of the uh, gloss off off it for me, trying to trying to um, you know trying to build up to the release, and then it's already out there two weeks early. So, um, but I think you know that's just part of the process. I think every every artist would have a story where something certainly does hasn't gone right, and um, you're having all these plans of having all these different assets and things ready to go. Uh, but uh, we all, yes, the world works in a slow uh, turtle pace, I think, most of the time. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, life is just uh, the one constant is that it's things are constantly changing, I guess. And we have to learn to pivot when things happen, especially in this industry, because things are moving so quickly. Well, we've got this new song out. You know, you, you've just done an, um, a show with Matt Joe Gow on, on the weekend. Um, I'm, I'm assuming you're going to be continually to gig gigging and and working on new music what's what are you hoping that the next kind of year will look like for you are you going to go back to Tamworth like what are some things that you're hoping to kind of or kind of doors that you'd like to see open because of this track yeah I think it's just in some ways it's more of the same in um there'll be hopefully yeah um, plenty of shows I've got shows lined up um over the next couple of months in Melbourne and uh, and a few other places I'd have to remember. Uh, Dallas, but that's what I was thinking of. Um, yeah, so so obviously opportunities to to play and perform, also you know solo and with my band. Um, and then yeah, the aim is is to get back into the studio uh, as soon as we can and and record a couple more tracks that we um, hopefully we'll be able to release as singles before the end of the year. Um, and then yeah, hopefully off to Tamworth in January. Um, and then, yeah, the long long term goal is to is to release this album um, that's sort of sitting here, but um, it's just going to take a bit of time, as we talked about with you know there's other prior priorities that I need to make sure we're looking after. And um, yeah, so it's all all exciting things, but um, yeah, as I was speaking to Matt yesterday, um, and he was you know just saying this is a, it's a it's a marathon this. Um, this career and it's um you know he's been working for 15 years and, and i suppose is finally getting some recognition but so that's um that's just the way the way it's going to be and and and, and you know i've got to be realistic you know i i can only really spend a couple of days at max and if that on on my music a week and um so there's only a certain amount of things i can do in a particular you know that particular amount of time so um but it's just yeah just writing more and um yeah performing more and releasing more and just hopefully uh yeah that'll um lead to good things which it already has i love it so much i think the yeah the challenge of managing all those priorities but not giving up on the thing that you're passionate about i guess if we round this up and wind this up what is it that you would love for people to take away from the song is there a lesson that you'd love for people to learn is there a feeling you'd love for them to kind of discover as they're listening um what would be your heart for people as they uh, discover hurtful ways yeah i don't know that's um it's it's a tricky one because 
yeah, it's a pretty personal song and um, without, you know, there's, there's things that just, I'm not going to go into at the moment. And, but I think it's, I think even though it's, you know, it's a probably, it's a quite a sad song. I'm, I hope that there is some hope in, in the lyrics um, that, you know, at least hopefully feeling like, you know, recognizing that, yeah, things, things are, you know, can be really challenging and, and really hurtful, but um I suppose recognition of those hurts is the first step for things being able to move forward. So, yeah, it's, um, I don't know, in the end, you know, it's a, it's a typical line that artist says, once you release it, it's over to the uh, listener to decide what it means. So <laughs> yeah. maybe I'll play that card. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Well, I think the, the opportunity to basically to say, hey, we're all the same. We're, we've all been in this place. You're not alone if you're going through something like that. And I love one of the things as a um, an artist and a listener, I love to be able to go, oh, to find um, that place of where I can relate and where, oh, it sounds like they're singing my song a little bit. And so it's always great to um, connect with that. And uh, it, as an extra plus for it to be uh, a killer track with a great, great melodies and hooks and to get stuck in your head, which like, this one definitely does. So, Jeremy, how can people find out about you and connect with you? Of course, we'll put all your links and stuff under this video, but what's the best way for people to connect? Yeah, probably uh, through socials, Facebook, Instagram, um, under Jeremy Beggs Music. Uh, I've got a website yeah, under www.jeremybeggsmusic.com.au. They're probably the best places uh, to get in touch. So be, yeah, everything about shows, um, and links to go to Spotify and Apple Music and and the like. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much. Oh, I am a mailing list. If you go to the website and you sign up to the mailing list, I'll keep you up to date with what's happening over the next little while. And um, yeah, so it'd be great to have you on board. Wonderful, Jeremy. Thank you so much for chatting with me for persevering and releasing this fabulous tune and, you know, for uh, I, I kind of think as an encouragement there is that sense of uh, prioritising your family but also encouraging your kids to to chase their dreams as well and that, you know, uh, that sometimes a little bit of sacrifice equals, um, you know, this being true to who you are um, and that's a wonderful example as well. Um, and for all of us who, who you know, we're both of us of a, of a slightly older vintage <laughs> but I'm realising, hey, it's not too late um, for us to, to say yes, to jump into this space. Um, you don't have to be 20 uh, to uh, to um, to put your hand up and to get started. So I want to encourage you in that. You, you. Doing amazing. Um, been a privilege to chat to you today. Thank you. Thanks, Kate. Yeah, it's been a privilege. So, yeah, we'll see you soon. Cheers.